how are you? Amanda, St. Artist. I'm going to do my face, and I'm going to talk to you about something that I get asked a lot. This is one of my most frequently asked questions. Do I need contour? Do I need the brightening highlight? No, you don't need it. You don't need anything. You don't even need makeup. <laughs> this is fun. It should be fun, and it shouldn't be intimidating, and I don't want you to feel intimidated, but I love that everybody comes to me and asks me the questions because I, I, that's what I'm here for. And so what I want to say is you don't have to get these things. They do, I feel like they're a way of enhancing your face because you do have lighter tones on your skin because your skin isn't just one color. And so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do my face and I'm going to do it with one highlight. And then at the end on one half of my face, I'm going to contour and I'm going to brighten. So you can see the difference in the dimension that I talk about when I say, here's your brightening Here's your mane. Here's your contour. Um, if you want a lip and cheek, everybody wants a lip and Who doesn't put blush on? So I'm going to do the blush. I'm going to do all the things. And then at the end, I'm going to show you the difference that adding that dimension and shadowing and the brightness, how that can enhance an already beautiful face. So because contouring is new to people, I remember before contouring was a thing, I used to contour with eyeshadow. I would just go buy a shadow and I would contour I didn't know it was a thing, but I liked the way it made my cheekbones look. That's the only place I thought to contour was right here on my cheeks, but there's so many places that have natural shadowing. I didn't know that I could straighten up my bumpy nose, <laughs> but I can. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color correct. I have some redness and discoloration, so I go into the Contour Color Aspen, and I use this one because it's such, if you have very, very fair skin, Aspen would be a good contour color for you. Um, otherwise, it just kind of turns into your skin tone um, for some people or it can look a little gray. It just depends on your skin tone, which is why color matching is so important. All right, so I'm just going and I'm just simmering down that redness and discoloration that I have on my cheeks from old cystic acne. I used to get horrible cystic acne. And one thing you can't do is touch it. You can't mess with a cystic acne. Otherwise, it turns into this. It looks like just a crater in your face. And so I learned that the hard way. So I have some scarring. And then sometimes they just leave a red mark that lasts forever. And um, not forever, but for a very long time, which is why some days your redness is really red. And sometimes your redness is, oh, it's not so bad today. Um, today it's not so bad. All right. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my face. I'm going to use my 3D brush. I really love this brush. And I am just going to do my main highlight. So that is this color right here. I'm a little darker right now. And so I am just going to cover my face with my brightening, or not my brightening, my main highlight. And so all I'm doing is basically I'm doing a foundation layer on my face. I lied. I'm not putting the whole thing all over my face because I don't want that much makeup. But I am going to do this side of my face with just my main highlight. This is the color that most matches, that matches my skin tone. I mean, you don't really see me putting it on because our colors are so versatile. We have, if you have a warmer skin tone, we have the colors for that. If you have cooler skin tones, we have the colors for that. I've already done my brows and I've already done my eyeshadow and mascara. All right, so I'm just putting on my main highlight coverage. And it's nice, it's good, and it matches. And it gives me that all over color. And this is what you're used to doing with your traditional makeup. And then you would go over it with your other items and you you know do your pressed powders to set it. You would put your cheek on and then you go in about your day and that was it and that was fine. I mean, everybody's beautiful. This is just, again, this is, this is just a new product. I love this product because there's less ingredients, there's better pigmentation in it, which means you don't need as much on your face. All right, so I have evened out my skin tone and that was pretty quick, okay? This stuff goes on, because it's silicone based, it just glides and it moves so, so, so easily. So you can do just, I'm just trying to get this discoloration I'm seeing. All right, so I am one tone. I got it all even and all nice. And I mean, this looks, this looks nice. I'm just gonna bring it down because it's not, you know, 1992 here. We want to bring our color down. All right, next I'm going to go into my lip and cheek. I'm using pink grapefruit. I've been, I've gotten a little bit of sun. I'm a little bit darker, and I've been really loving this pop of pink. Pop of pink. 
All right, so I'm just gonna put, I always put it in the middle and then I bring it around. And so this is just, this is just my blush. And you can do this and this looks like a huge Folger outside our house. <laughs> All right, so this is what a lot of people do and this is where they stop. Sometimes they might add a little bit of bronzer. You can totally do that and warm your face up a little bit. I love our bronzer. Okay, everybody uses bronzer. All right, so look, I look fine. I look very pretty over here. <laughs> um, but you could easily do one main color and, and a lip and cheek. You can. It doesn't look, I'm not telling you like everything was wrong before, um, but I like being able to give these options and answer this question that I do get frequently because I don't want you to feel like you're not heard. And I always, I always respond. I, get, I always respond within 24 hours. All right. Lately, it's been a lot sooner than that, but okay. So here it is. This is one highlight and a lip and cheek and a little bit of bronzer, just like you do all the time. And it's beautiful. It, I just love the way that this lives with your skin. It I have a natural dewiness and glow. It's like a second skin. All right, so now I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to put on my makeup with dimensions. So the first thing I'll do is I'm gonna put on my all over color where I always put it. So I always put it along my jawline and I always bring it up right here. And so I'm just gonna be putting it in all the same places as I always have. I just like to show the difference that adding it is and how easy this, I mean, you're just painting on your face. All you're doing is painting on your face. Going just over that brow bone here. All right. Boy, oh boy, this hair. All right, so I have evened out the skin tones for where I need to because this is cream, it's 80% pigmentation. I don't have to cover my whole face with my mane because everything I'm gonna add now is going to give me coverage. So here's the difference that brightening can do. So I'm gonna go into my brightening highlight, which is just a shade or two lighter than your mane. It's not crazy, it's just a shade or two. And I'm gonna go just under my eye and bring it up and I'm just brightening under my eye, just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna blend this, just like, I mean, when you use a concealer, that's typically one of the places that you put it, if you get a concealer that's lighter. But a lot of people think, oh, I gotta put a lot under my eye because I have dark circles. Not everybody has crazy dark circles, but they feel like they need concealer. And I hear that a lot. I just felt like I needed it. I saw everybody else doing it. Well, now you're seeing everybody else use sink, so why don't you try? <laughs> All right, so I've just brightened. It's just a little bit brighter under the eye, brings it up, but it's just brighter. I mean, that's really it. And then I'm gonna brighten right here. I'm gonna use the pointy end and I'm gonna brighten right down the, the top of the nose. Bring that up. I'm gonna brighten right here and here. Okay. And what I like about this makeup is because it's all right here, it goes on faster because you're not digging in a bag, looking for something. It's nice. So I've just brightened under the eye and it just adds a little, a little brightness. I, all right, next I'm gonna switch over and I'm gonna get my detail brush that I should have had out ahead of time. All right, so now I'm gonna go into my contour and I'm gonna show the difference that adding contour can do to your face. So I'm using the dark color indigo, super scary. And this is, I think, a color that intimidates a lot of people. And I'm just gonna contour here. And I'm gonna contour the side of this nose. And the tip. Because I'm gonna straighten out my bumps. And it looks scary. I know it does, I know. We're gonna be okay. And then I'm gonna go just above the hollow of that cheek, but under my cheek bone. And that's it, okay? I have gotten it all on. Okay, so next, so now I'm just gonna blend this. I'm not done, I'm not done. I'm gonna put it right here. This is a, an area where you contour and you really, you don't notice it until you notice it. Okay, so I have contoured this side and I'm just gonna take little circles and with the lightest touch, I am gonna do that. 
just blending that shadow. All right, and I'm just going to blend the shadow. I'm going to buff out the bridge and add a little bit of brightness because I overdid it. So I'm just going to add the brightness and then I'm going to blend it. I'm going to use the tip of this brush just to get that brightness blended in. And then I'm going to get the tip. All right. All right, so now I'm just going to go in with the corner here. And with the littlest of circles, I'm just blending that cheek. And because of the pigmentation, it's giving me coverage in that area where I've had like discoloration and scarring. I'm just going to bring that up here along the hairline. You want to focus your shadowing on your hairline because your hair gives you shadow when it's down. <laughs> and so that's where it's an easy place to blend. So I've just blended that out and I've just enhanced my cheekbone. Okay, now I'm going to go in back with my 3D brush and I'm going to go into that pink grapefruit and I'm going to put it on my cheek, just like I did on the other side. Just like I did on the other side. So this is the difference. This is really it. This is the difference that it gives you. I'm going to take my blush and bronzer. I like taking this fluffy end and I just like to marry these all together, which just means I buff in, not really buff, but I sweep my brightening into my dark areas where I put shadowing. And I just like to sweep this up and this down. So this is yummy. Um, <laughs> this is what I wanted to show you. Let's add some lip. I'm going to take makeup or not. Yeah. Well, no, nope, Mac. Makeup forever. Oak. And I'm just going to do a nice neutral lip real quick. I just like to let you see a finished product. Okay, let's find a nice little pink lip. I had somebody say, I smack my lips a lot when I put on lipstick. That's okay, do it. All right, there we go. Okay, so this is the finished look. This has contour. I've contoured up here. I've given some warmth. I can add some of that bronzer I added over here too. So I'll just dip into that, add some bronzer. Just like the other side. So here's the difference. This cheekbone looks, sorry, I have some lighting going down. This side just has a, I don't know if you can tell, this side just looks a little more chiseled than this side. I just like to show the difference. This is why when you ask me for a color match, I give you a list, a list. And that's not saying buy it all. This is what you need, get it. <laughs> I'm just saying these are the colors that I would suggest for your skin. I like the contouring because it gives my face the full dimension I want. I'm able to enhance the areas I like. I'm able to fix areas that make me uncomfortable. My bumpy nose, it makes me uncomfortable. The bulb at the end that I feel like I have, it makes me uncomfortable. With the contouring, I can straighten out my nose. I can brighten down the bridge. I can give my shadowing. I can enhance my cheekbones. I can hide my jowls. I can do those things with contour. You don't have to do it. You can certainly do one color and a lip and cheek. You can certainly add contour later. That's the great thing. It's not like when you decide, okay, I'm ready to step it up and try the contour. Go grab it. There's free shipping, no minimum purchase. You can buy something for 10 bucks if there's something for $7. There's these little compacts you can get for I think $7.49 right now because they're 40% off. Once this size is gone, it's gone. Free shipping just to get a $7 compact. So if you decide, I want to add something. I'm ready to try something new. Go for it. You don't have to change everything. You could just, hey, I'm ready to try contour. I've mastered cream. I'm ready to try contour. It makes the most subtle difference, but makes such a big impact as far as that. That's how I feel about it. So I wanted to show this to you. This face went on in less than 15 minutes and I did two different sides and I talked a lot. So here we are. Here it is. I just wanted to show the difference of brightening and contour. So if you have any questions, you want to try this makeup, message me and I am here for you. Have a great day.